Hey guys, let's talk about the need to nerd developers philosophy. This is my philosophy, something I put together over the last 20 odd years. If you learn anything, learn this, and it's gonna make you a far better developer, you're gonna make much more money, and you're gonna have a better career. So what is the need to nerd philosophy? It comes down to three things. Number one, you gotta be neutral about any technology, whether it be programming languages, Java, PHP, JavaScript, Python, whatever. You gotta be neutral about those languages. You gotta be neutral about frameworks, whether it be front-end frameworks like React, Angular, Vue, whatever. And you gotta be neutral or, or back-end frameworks. And you have to be sensitive to what the market demands. You can't be a nerd with your nerd, nerd blinders on where you only look at the uh, technology in isolation. You have to look at all these technologies as being uh, affected by and a part of a general market trend. So for example, you may think that Flash Action Script is the best language ever written, but nobody hires Flash Action Scripters anymore. So. Probably not a good choice in 2018. That said, another one of my philosophies is that there's no wasted learning. The more you learn, the more you earn. So let's say you were an action script programmer, and then if several years ago, Steve Jobs put a stake in its heart and killed it. And you go, oh no, I can't write Flash Action Script anymore. You may have liked it, but guess what? Did you waste all your time learning Action Script? Not even close, because you can take all those Action Script skills. In Action Script was or is a object-oriented programming language that's strongly typed, and you can take all those skills and and bring it into your JavaScript, bring it into your Java, bring it into your C Sharp, bring it into your Swift, and if you know one language then to learn other languages is like same thing with frameworks what you'll find is if you learn one front end framework it's going to be a lot easier for you to learn other frameworks same thing with back end frameworks let's say you're a python django programmer django is python's web framework on the server and you find out oh, i gotta do jobs in java spring now for you to learn spring will be so much easier simply because you already know django for you to learn PHP Laravel will be so much easier simply because you learn Laravel. You cannot waste time. You cannot, uh, it's not a waste to learn anything really. That being said, I do these series of videos called the Should You Learn This? Should You Learn That? I did one just yesterday, Should You Learn Angular? And I was just pointing out in that video how uh, Angular developers are getting tired of it. Apparently, it's it's gotten bloated. Apparently, the error messaging is terrible. Apparently, the documentation is terrible. That's one thing, by the way, that separates really good frameworks and really good libraries from bad ones. Very good documentation. Anyway, does that mean that Angular is, oh, no, I'm losing everything. I learned Angular. No, because there's, A, probably a lot of Angular demand still. And even if Angular goes into decline, which I think that it might, that's going to take years. So what? You learn Angular, you spend a couple months becoming really good at it, you learn it, and then you get a few jobs with it, you work with it for a couple of years, and then all of a sudden it fades away. Did you, did, was that a waste of time? No, because you, you made a bunch of money using Angular. And all the skills and experience you got from Angular is going to inform you in terms of the next framework. You're going to learn what Angular did well, what it did bad, and you're going to, you're going to take that experience and bring it into maybe Vue, Vue.js as an example, I don't know. So there's no wasting, there's no wasting of time when you learn something, impossible, impossible. So don't be worried that you're, you're going down some path that's a waste of time. It doesn't work that way in the software development world because all the modern languages are very, very much reflective of each other. And when you learn in all the frameworks, not, they don't have all commonalities, but a lot of frameworks have similar, share similar traits. And by learning a bad framework, you learn what's good and bad about other frameworks you know, by learning them. Another aspect of the need to nerd philosophy, so number one, it's uh, be technology neutral. They're all just tools. Number two, you got to be sensitive to the market demands around you, right? So in your area, if PHP is in demand, you learn PHP. If it's Java, you learn Java, whatever. 
And number three, you got to choose something that you like. You got to choose something that you like as well. Ultimately, if you don't like back end server programming, you might be a great front end developer. Who knows? Maybe you're into full stack. Who knows? Um, these are the three key principles of need to nerd, of need to nerd programming. And uh, if you adopt this, it's going to make your your life as a software developer much easier because you're going to be less. Uh, let, there's going to be less anxiety about choosing technology stacks, less anxiety about whether you're wasting your time or not, which is, like I said, it's not really a thing. It's not In reality, you can't waste your time learning something new. So that's, uh, that's very key. And by having this flexible mindset, you're going you're gonna to maximize the potential of you gaining new work. That's just a big part of it as well. So don't be too concerned about... Uh, these languages all right that's it for today's vlog i got distracted by some people outside um there might be a slowdown on my vlogs as i have jury duty i got called into jury duty so i go in tomorrow we'll see what happens i don't know if it's going to be a murder trial or something serious and i'm not even sure if they're going to uh keep me on i'm hoping they won't because i don't want to sit and uh and sit and listen to a, a court case I think court cases seem pretty excited in um, on TV shows, but uh, I've been involved in a court battle uh, on a couple occasions, and they're not exactly exciting when you're there. There's a lot of paperwork and formalities that you have to run through, and uh, so I'm hoping I won't have to do that. Anyhow, nonetheless, uh, I'll still be putting out vlogs. I may be reducing the frequency over the next couple of days. I'm not sure. We'll see how it goes tomorrow. Wish me luck.